All right, so what is going on everybody on YouTube? It's your boy Rod, man. I just woke up. It is like 10.30. I obviously got home from work yesterday, all that stuff, but I decided to make another video, because why not? So today, I got a bit of, you know, a bit of errands I gotta do. You boy's gonna get a haircut. It's gonna get all this shit tamed. So I'm gonna, actually, I'm running a little bit late for that. So I just wanted to film this intro real quick. Um, then after that, I gotta go do some other stuff. And then on the way back, um, I want to finally, because I know in my last video I mentioned I do have another car now. Um, I have a daily. <laughs> a daily? It's me. It's also getting modified, but I want to make a video on that. I haven't shown you guys that car. I've had it for almost a year now. So definitely want to show you guys that, show you guys everything that's done with it. And then after that, then, you know, tell you guys the plans and all that stuff. So when I get back, I'm going to wash it and... I don't want to film me washing it just because it's super dirty right now. I don't want to see. I don't want you guys to see how dirty it is because I drive it a lot, but I will make a video and finish it on what's done to it, what I have, my plans for it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So let me get back with the fresh fade and then I'll catch you guys in a bit. All right, y'all, and boom, just like that, your boy is back. Beard done clean little fade and i'm in my garage if you can tell fuck it's bright but i am going to wash the car a little bit um if you guys want a little sneak peek that's the car so yeah let me pull this bitch in and then give it a quick little wash we'll go to somewhere um a little bit less a little more secluded right with a nice view and i'll give you guys a full walk around on everything about the car everything that's done to the car everything like maintenance wise how good of a reliable car it's been and so on and so forth so uh let me pull the car in and wash it and you know i might do a quick little you know time lapse or something of me washing the car but I'm not too sure i might set up the tripod around here but yeah let me bring the car in set everything up get my soap already and yeah y'all so i don't know why my face is so white i'm not that white in front and like in real life all right um i got dutch bros fuck yeah y'all are wondering what i get i get an iced medium 911 with nothing else simple and fire six shots apparently i'm a crackhead whatever um but i'm currently right now parked outside of best buy the thing is when i moved back from arizona i don't know i don't know if i've updated you guys that i moved to arizona for a couple months um school didn't work out but yeah um on the way back or like on the way there i think my mic broke i had a shotgun mic that like you literally would screw it onto the little um shoe on top the hot shoe and it broke so there's no like it, the mic still works like i can plug it in but there's no hot shoe to like hold it so it does me no purpose you know because i need to have it on top so i don't have to be holding it so i'm at best buy hopefully they have a decent mic i'm looking for the video or the road video mic micro i think the small one that you just literally plug in and it's like on you don't have to like power it or use batteries or anything so hopefully they have that if they have it i'm gonna buy it if not then i think we're just gonna order it online and you know wait for it to get here so yeah it's one of those things that like when i'm editing videos i know it makes my voice a lot more crisp and it makes the sound quality a lot better in general so it's something that i need because i don't like having the you know the sounds to just go to the roof and you know it's a lot of other shit but yeah let me walk in here we'll see what they got and hopefully they have something i can use so yeah i'll be right back all right so i'm here um if you don't know where i live you know where the fuck this is at and i haven't been up here in a while and it's if you hear ricers in the back i'm sorry 
but as you can see in the back they burned the spot out luckily it's about midday if you couldn't tell by the hat just covering my whole entire face it's about midday there's no one up here so luckily i'm chilling as you guys can see it's a bunch of burn marks and shit where people two-step on the wall it's burned out for a reason but my main reason i'm here is to make this video it's a video on my daily i got another car now technically now another fucking build um i am going to give you guys a little walk around on what's done what i have done what i'm planning on doing and pretty much just what i'm gonna try and do with the car and keep it at you know because i don't want to do a full-on build until i have another car that i can daily probably a work truck or something that i can put out to work build this but as of now this is what the car is looking like so i'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys what it's done to it all right so whatever they're over there in the corner i don't know if you can see them over there so it's pretty much stock on the outside i actually don't even have wheel spacers on this shit shitty ass fitment and the rear is horrible look at that so ugly but yeah i have bad fitment um aside from that on the exterior i've only done the clear side markers i was gonna do blacked out but i didn't know how i was gonna feel with the gray and the clear and the black since it really didn't match and then on the front stock headlights stock rail um i'll get into the engine a little bit later in terms of tint i have five percent all around five percent on the doors these right here on the back sadly nothing on the windshield because yeah, as you can see it's completely see-through but i did have a 35 on the windshield went to arizona four days later after i got my car tinted uh i got a rock chip completely cracked my windshield in the back let me turn these on real quick so i don't know how well you guys can see these as of now i do have v land golf r sequential tail lights so you do have the two little l's and then the turn signal is sequential um stock gti emblem stock volkswagen emblem gti plate frame just because why not it came with the car my exhaust setup as you guys heard in the cold start my exhaust setup is a resonator and muffler delete stock cats as of now and exterior wise that's about it that's nothing much on the car interior wise so as you guys can see it is a daily you can see my floor mats are all dirty i do have a quick release setup on the car right now i do have a couple different quick releases but right now i have a volante steering wheel and this is a dream garage killer collab um in black perforated leather with the black stitching and then i do have carbon fiber paddles and nrg quick release i don't know if you guys can see it real quick you can see the carbon fiber and then just a nrg short hub for the car aside from that this is this is how it looks on the inside you got dream killer right here volante right there and if you take it off if you take it off you have a little wrench stitched in on the bottom as well as it's numbered so it's number 254 out of 260 and now you guys can get a better look at the carbon like quick release handles sadly i was not able to get the dinging hub as well as my horn to work but whatever we don't need it anyways interior wise this is a autobahn package so i do have full leather interior i have the upgraded as you guys can see right there Dyna audio sound system all around your basic cluster honestly that's about it interior wise i don't have much done to it in the interior or the exteriors as of now so i'm gonna hop into the engine real quick the engine setup on this because that's where most of the parts are going to go the upcoming parts on this thing are going to go is the engine so i'm gonna show you guys most of my parts up and coming and most of the parts i've put on this car are in the engine not making it fast whatsoever just maintenance parts i do have some performance parts coming very very soon for the car they're actually literally ordered and on the way already all right so that loud ass motorcycle is hopefully done so as i was saying most of my money and parts have been engine it's not fast it's still stock i've just done a lot of maintenance and prevention work on the car to make it run a lot longer because i do daily the car um actually fun fact i haven't started my car the mustang in three weeks if i don't start it today this is going to be my third week without starting the car so most of my money has gone into the engine let me give a little explanation 
Got the car a couple, like a month and a half, two months later. Got to check engine light. Apparently it was a throttle body sensor in the intake manifold and the intake manifold right there. Honestly, full scent it. Instead of just getting the sensor replaced, I got a brand new uh, throt intake manifold with the revision from Volkswagen. It's the OEM uh, intake manifold, but I got the revision, uh, so it doesn't come with the same problem. And as when I was there, I might as well told the shop to do an intake valve cleaning and walnut blast the whole entire thing just to take care of that since they were already gonna take off the intake manifold. Aside from that, I got my DSG serviced because it is an auto. I would have, I was 100% prefer an auto because of me daily driving it in the Bay Area. So I got a DSG transmission, uh service maintenance wise obviously it's a german car it's pretty expensive but the only modification i have is that baby right there so i do have a cts turbo intake open intake as well as r8 coil packs and spark plugs i'm not sure what spark plugs i have but i do have r8 coil packs i also got because when i put the intake on the diverter valve went out and went bad so i got a go fast bits diverter valve or db plus so that's on the car as well makes it sound super nice i'll set up the tripod give it a couple revs i don't have a tune yet so the car still has a stock um 4, 000, like rev limiter like you know soft limiter whatever they call it so it's only going to rev up to 4k but i'm pretty sure you can still hear the intake <laughs> In terms of plans that I have for the car, I do have intercooler and then I already have a downpipe sitting in my room. So I have an uh, Arm Motorsports Stealth Black intercooler. I have the CTS uh, three inch high flow catted downpipe, as well as I have integrated engineering uh, DSG tune and an integrated engineering stage two tune for the car so it's going to be full bolt-on i believe and stage two pretty much stage two gti but technically i don't think there's anything else in the car that i need to make it a full bolt-on so i think it would be a full bolt-on it's going to be a full bolt-on sleeper pretty much it looks stock from the outside it's just lowered so a lot of people don't don't think these cars are that quick but they're actually really quick because they don't weigh much and if everything goes as planned by the time this video comes out, hopefully, I will have a set of wheels for this car already, so it's not gonna be stock looking. I'm not sure exactly what wheels, but there's a few options out there that I'm looking at right now. Used, obviously, because I don't wanna spend too much money because it's literally my daily, but um, I just wanna make it a fun, clean looking daily, so might have some wheels for it. In terms of that, that's, that's pretty much it. It's not much done to the car. It's a great daily, hasn't given me any issues whatsoever. And yeah, I love the car. It's honestly such a good car, um, reliable, fun, automatic, so it's easy to drive. And it just looks good, cause like honestly, for being stock, I love the rear end of the car and how it looks fully tucked, tucking half the tire. Come on, don't tell me that doesn't look amazing. Um, let me flip this around and sign this video up. Alrighty, yo, so that's pretty much the walk around on my 2013 Mark 6 GTI. Quick little like channel update. I've been very, very busy. I work, you know, 40 hours a week now. And the thing is I commute a lot. So add on top of the 40 hours, about a 12 hour weekly, like driving time that I do. So I don't have much spare time, which is why I posted a video the other day, but I don't post as frequently. I do want to keep on posting maybe once a week, film something on the weekends and, you know, kind of just get a video out during the week, have it a little bit more focused on like on my hobbies in general. So cars is my biggest hobby right now. I still want to incorporate fashion a little bit because I still dress decent, I would like to say, as well as maybe if, you know, me and my friends are going to fuck around and do a shoot, I would also like to kind of just like take the camera, vlog a little bit, show you guys the spots where we go and just kind of like show you guys the process as we're 
shooting pictures for Instagram and stuff like that. That's pretty much what my channel is going to consist of. Hopefully, um, I want to just kind of incorporate the gym, incorporate work, incorporate driving, YouTube, social media, all that stuff into my weekly schedule. It is a hard, hard and very, very busy schedule, but I'm going to get it done. Um, I never sleep, so I might as well just take advantage of the time I don't sleep, put it to good use. So that's pretty much the thing. I might get some Instagram stickers for this car because it doesn't have any and I do have an Instagram for this car specifically. Uh, so if you guys want to follow this build, it's going to be one basic underscore mark six that's one i'll put it on the screen right here but it's going to be one basic underscore mk6 um as i said it's going to be right here across the screen follow my main ig that's rodman underscore sy50 both of the igs will be right here in the corner but yeah i'm gonna try to get more consistent with youtube and hopefully you know come back part time so to say grow the channel a little bit more and just show you guys a little bit more of my of my weekly life you know kind of like what i do on the weekends because during the week i don't do much but on the weekends sometimes i do fun stuff you know so with that being said I don't want to make this video any longer than it already has been. If you guys have any questions about anything, any of the products I use to wash the car, any of, you know, my camera accessories or whatever it may be, make sure to drop a comment down below. I will be filming a lot more about this car because it's a fun daily and I will be filming a lot more on the Mustang when I get more parts onto it, uh, which I already have, but I just need to get them on. Yeah, just drop a comment down below, comment on my Instagram, DM me on Instagram more than likely i check my requests and my messages daily so pretty sure i'll get back to you guys if you guys have any questions with that being said it's your boy rodman hope you guys enjoyed this video rodman signing out peace